Okay. So. I have my, uh, notes here. But not to worry, I'm not really going to be looking at these for too long, because that's just for one little segment. But I've finished the campaign of KUR probably maybe 30 minutes ago from recording this. And this was the stream of uh, KUR. And overall, it was okay. It was a good FPS. It was a good shooter. It, it sort of screams like old school Half-Life, Duke Nukem, maybe like a tiny bit of Serious Sam, that kind of thing. Like old school retro kind of FPSs. And I myself am not too accustomed to these sorts of games. I mean, I've kind of played Half-Life and, and such in the past, but they weren't they, they weren't my favorites, but they were okay. I, d I didn't mind them. So I'm going into this myself with not a, a huge bias towards these sorts of games. And I thought it was decent. I thought it was good. There's a lot wrong with it. And my god, right now, it's not worth full price. I I'm, I'm sorry uh, if that offends the company or if that offends people who enjoy this game. But it, the game is not finished. It's quite clear that it's not finished. It's in early access. As far as I know, they've done all the missions that they want to do. I could be wrong about that, though. Uh, I do know that, they, that they're going to vo add voice acting, that they're going to fix little things like uh, subtitles and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, the shooting and the weapons themselves are the main thing that you're going to be doing, of course. And that feels nice. It feels good. You start off with a baby pistol like you would in a lot of these games. It gives me sort of GoldenEye vibes, honestly. And then you can dual wield when you find a second one. Finding secrets in the game actually feels rewarding because it helps give you guns earlier on but if you miss them then that's okay because you'll very likely find a bunch of these guns later on it's just finding them earlier of course gives you that advantage especially if you're playing on the harder difficulties and i did try playing on the hardest difficulty i played like the first two levels i think on the harder difficulty and um yeah i could definitely see a spike i imagine it would probably be a hell of a lot harder on the final boss and st stuff like that. But playing on normal uh, felt alright. That is apparently quote-unquote the way the game is meant to be played. But um, I could see someone who is a glutton for punishment maybe enjoying it on the harder difficulties. Sorry, but uh, I don't know how hard it would be per se. I don't know because when I was playing on normal, because I can only really use that as, as my main Exa uh, talking piece here is that it was kind of tricky at the beginning but then further on as I went on the upgrades just skyrocketed me through and yes I was still dying but um, <laughs> it was well, sometimes it was for things that shouldn't be happening and uh, yeah uh, the upgrades themselves were good because it also was kind of cute because it was trying to explain and add a funny little twist on things that normally happen in these games. So, for example, you kill an enemy and they drop ammo. There's an upgrade for that. So then that way, it's like, oh, you collect scrap from, you know, dead enemies. That's kind of cute. And then um, you basically can get, like, more maximum health. You can make it so the enemies drop health and all that. That your kick attack, your melee attack does more damage, that kind of stuff. It feels like that they might be adding more later, like more special abilities later, because there was like some extra little uh, empty spaces in the upgrade chair, and sometimes you would find upgrade chairs when you already max maxed yourself out, and so therefore if you find them then there's literally no point to them, like there's nothing. And I even tried sitting in one of them, to see what I could do when I was max, like when I was upgraded to the max, and it actually bugged. It bugged the game out. It glitched it, and I couldn't continue. I had to restart the level, and I tried it multiple times. So this is a bug. And uh, speaking of bugs, uh, I have a I have a list. I have a list here. If I can find this out and start reading it from the right side. Uh, now this does not mean that the game is bad. Okay. Just because the game has a bunch of bugs doesn't mean it's bad. 
Bethesda sells buggy games. And, and everyone out there likes a lot of Bethesda games. I like a bunch of Bethesda games. But... I do think that some of them should be addressed. Just some, you know, some. Such as, uh, mm, let's just read from the start to the finish, shall we? <sighs> Couldn't side jump. Graphical glitches times three. Head crab dead but still, still moving. Floating dead body. Stuck on wall. Wrong instructions. E for flashlight. Voice lines cutting out. Phasing through walls from start of level to end of level. Was clear on one side, then blocked off the other side. Some walls broke and can run off the map. Subtitles not working. Uh, muffled voice. Uh, the train level. Scrapyard. Sink into acid pit and teleport to start? Question mark. Glitched. Ragdoll bodies. Uh, typos. Audio gets cut off. Minecart level bugged. He won't follow if done incorrectly. Can't see ammo. Health glitch. Exit level glitch. Upgrade station glitches out and stops you from playing when you have all the upgrades. Funny walk cycle. Enemy stuck in the ceiling. Can't shoot him. Minecart level. He skips levers and goes forward if you skip them. Bugged enemy movement. Fast, slow. Bugged explo Bugged explosives. Tank level. Explosives out of nowhere. Dumb force damage. Ones you destroy still hurt you. Really bugged cutscenes. Unfinished. Second, last level. Enemy won't spawn. Can't finish unless reset. Now, out of that entire list, the only one that I say is really bad and kind of crucial that should be looked into is the uh, the the on rails tank level and that's because from my experience and from people viewing it as well it doesn't make sense because you're on a, a really short linear kind of boring tank level which seems okay to begin with because you're just shooting turrets at the top you're shooting explosives in front of you. So, okay, fair enough. You need to try and shoot these things before they have a chance to attack you or before you come into contact with said explosives. Now, the thing that they don't tell you or explain is that some of these explosives, for whatever stupid reason, you cannot shoot them or destroy them, even though they look exactly the same as all the other explosives. So that's already kind of weird, even though you could break everything else and they look exactly the same, but all right, fair enough. Let's go around, because you can move the tank along this uh, uh, pathway a bit. Even the explosives you destroy, however, even the ones you've blown up, they still hurt you. They're not on the map anymore. They're completely disappeared from the map, but they will still hurt you. They'll reappear and explode, which is what me and, and uh, my viewers discovered. Thank you, Lenny. And so that means in some areas, you still have to go around the areas that you've detonated. But some areas are literally a wall of explosives, meaning that you can do perfectly and you are still going to get damaged. You are still going to be injured. So that means there's not much room for error here. I can't imagine how it would be like on the hardest difficulty. I got through after a while. And then I tried to run around back in that area, and I got killed. Probably because I was stepping over areas where explosives were. And, you know, they're not there anymore, but they killed me, for whatever reason. And I finally managed to get back through, and I was like, fuck that. And I felt like I just couldn't explore at that point. So I was like, no, just finish the level, get out. But anyway, that level, that needs some looking into. I also can't quite tell if in some areas they were trying to do some multiple choice stuff and there's some areas that you can maybe kind of discover, like in the achievements section. But again, I'm not quite sure if it's finished or not. It probably is, but it's hard to look up that kind of stuff because unfortunately there's not really any walkthroughs and guides and stuff like that for this game because I don't think it's that popular yet, sadly. And I do think it should have an audience. I do think people should look into this game. I genuinely do. Whoa.
What? Oh, uh, this game is not finished. Oh, whoa, baby, let your light shine out. Ah. Oh, my God. I had to click E to use the thing again, even though I fell down the hole. Oh, my God. Really bugged cutscenes. Not for full price, though. This game needs to seriously think about chopping its price down maybe to 15 bucks. At that point, I think if you genuinely uh, have faith in this kind of game, then yes, I, I think you should invest in it and maybe give it some time or just play the earlier stages and as, as they start to tweak things and fix it then you should enjoy it more and more. I'd probably say if you are a accustomed, accustomed to these kinds of games, maybe just play it on the hardest difficulty. Or maybe a harder difficulty than normal. But overall, I honestly quite liked it. I thought the main voice actor was good. You triple your normal feet. Woo! Now we are speaking the same language! Where do I sign up? I thought the sound effects and the music was were okay. I found at some points in the stream I just start playing my own music because it was getting dull or a little quiet. Like even right now the music, like it's okay the music, but this kind of stuff you know isn't really going to keep you up in in kind of fast paced shooting kind of stuff. They do have some neat music in certain places, but it's not everywhere. Uh, and and I, I think it could do with, with a bit more. Um, the final boss and the uh, end credits part, or the, or the credits part, was just very anticlimactic. I felt like, because they uh, they do have a story, uh, and the, the story is kind of very Half-Life-y, sort of sci-fi, almost Matrix-esque as well. With all the zeros and ones and shit. But... Uh, I felt like they could have amped it up a bit more, especially at the end. Because it does feel like that they have a kind of a serious story, but they've got they've got some nice cheese on it, which works. But they should have amped it up at the end, for sure. Have some of the characters, you know, NPCs dancing. Have the, have the main character say some stupid lines. Have some cute little unlockables and all that, you know. Go nuts with it. I also think that it's, it's not really spoilery, but um, some of the levels are uh, almost uh, survival modes, if that makes sense. Like, like you have to defeat the enemies before you proceed sort of thing. And I feel like that would be a good idea to help this game uh, live a bit longer in the community. Add a survival mode, add a gauntlet mode or something, like where you just try to survive as long as you can, or a custom gauntlet mode or something. Then you can add leaderboards and shit. You know, everyone likes leaderboards or whatever. I'm not a fan of them, but I know other people do. And... Then you could have other things, like maybe upgrades that you can slowly unlock as you play that, that mode, or when you win, or if you can't win, maybe you get some kind of a currency, depending on how far you get, and then you can get cosmetics for your character. Because everyone likes me, me too, I like cosmetics. You could give yourself a golden boot, because that's your main weapon, or a, or a golden weapon, you know, if you get like a million kills or something with it, I don't know. Just cute little things to help keep people going. Add more replayability, more replay value, that kind of thing. Um, overall, though, I, I like it. I like it. It does show some uh, some so, some warts and, and, and you know, it, it's bugginess in, in a lot of areas, especially when you're past the halfway mark. But I do like it. It did drop the ball as it went on more and more but i did enjoy my time with it and i feel like people should look into it so long as the company decides to drop the price because they really do need to do that they need they need to do something they need to add some kind of big incentive because unless you are a big fan of these kinds of shooters i would not be paying full price for this thing 
Or unless you have a lot of faith in them. Uh, otherwise, I like my time with it. Uh, thank you again for the review copy. Sorry if I made you sad. But I do like this game. And uh, if there's any big updates, I will, I will quite possibly look into it again in the future. And uh, yes, kudos to everyone involved. All that good job. Good job to the voice actress, too. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, thank you again for those who saw my stream and all that. Thank you for those who are watching this review. Have a good one. Uh, you can get this on Steam. I, you might be able to get it on Humble Bundle. Uh, I do have an affiliate link for that, but otherwise, you might be able to find it on Gritty Man Gaming with my Gritty Man Gaming affiliate link in the description. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Alright, thank you guys. Bye bye. Ah, <gasps> uh, uh, There we go. Good day there, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Speaking of which, thank you to my gorgeous patrons. If you want to help fund the channel, feel free to check out my Patreon in the description below. I also have affiliate links for Green Man Gaming and Humble Bundle, two very nice game key sites where you can get some good deals and help me out with a little kickback. Winky, thanks. My Twitch streams are still on every Friday, 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Sydney Australian time, unless I'm sick, busy, or dead. And my Discord game sessions where all of you can join in are still every Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. Sydney Australian time. Follow me on Twitter and other social medias, join the server on Discord and sub on YouTube to be alerted when I go live and new stuff comes out. Links in the description, bitch! Oh, I also have this code here if any of you are interested in a watch. That's it! Time to set sail and fuck off! Here are the patrons! Goodbye! <laughs>